Today on Geek Advisor, I'm going to show you how to pull out your uh, Windows key, and I'm also going to show you how to uh, pull out your program keys from your other pieces of software on your computer. I've got several different pieces of software we're going to go ahead and download. I'm going to put everything in the description so you don't have to worry about uh, writing anything down during the video. It'll be in the description. So let's go down to uh, Firefox. I've got the pages already loaded up. And this is the first piece of software by Neosmart, uh, Neosmart Technologies. It's the Windows OEM product key tool. And uh, this is going to go ahead and allow us to pull our Windows 10 key out of our BIOS or our EFI. So let's go down to the bottom here and click on Download Now. This is going to ask us for a, uh, our name and our email. Uh, you can do that if you want to, but it says uh, uh, that you don't have to here. You can just hit the Download button. The save button will come up. Let's go ahead and hit save. And that should have saved into our download directory. And there it is. It's under downloads. Let's go ahead and install this. The computer asks if we want to allow it to make changes to the computer. Say yes. And it says it's unable to open up the SMSDM table. So there's no embedded product key on this particular computer. The reason being is uh, this is not an OEM key or it doesn't have it in the BIOS or the EFI. So let's go ahead and bring up another piece of software. Let's go ahead and close this. Let's close this. Let's go to the next piece of software. This is called Show Key Plus. And it basically does the, uh, the same type of thing. It's going to try to pull the code out of the operating system. So let's go down here. And we can download it from uh, Major Geeks, actually. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. It wants us to join. I'm not going to do that. Let's go ahead and just open up MajorGeeks.com. We'll go down here to the search, type in show key plus. Click on this. And then we can go ahead and click on one of the download links. I'm going to save the file like we did before with the other piece of software. Let's go ahead and open up the downloads folder again. Looks like we need to extract it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to right click on it. And I'm going to say extract all. It's going to put it in the download directory into a folder called show key plus and extract it. It actually opened up the folder with the program in it. So I'm running 64-bit operating system, so I'm going to go ahead and click on this to install. There again, the operating system wants us to allow us to run this piece of software. We'll say yes. And it actually pulled out the key. This is not, like I said, this is not a BIOS key on this particular machine. It's the Windows key that was installed. This has Windows 10 on it. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. Close this. Close this. And let's go to the next uh, tab here on our browser. This is called uh, the Magic Jelly Bean Product Key Finder. This has been around for a long time. The uh, the free version will allow you to open up 300 different types of programs and pull out the keys from those programs. It will not allow you to open up the, uh, the Windows key from the BIOS unless you get the full-blown version for $29.95. But let's go ahead and install the free version. We'll go ahead and hit download. We'll save this to the hard drive. 
I'm going to go ahead and open up the download folder again. And there's KeyFinder. This is the install. So we'll install that. There again, the operating system wants us to allow us to install that piece of software. Accept the terms. Hit next. It wants to install it in the x86 directory under product uh, files. Let's hit next. Let's create a desktop shortcut. Hit next and install. Let's go ahead and launch it as well. Go ahead and hit finish. Yes. And there we go. This pulled out the key for Windows 10 Home. The system also has Microsoft Office on it, and there's the key for that as well. I blocked out all the keys, of course, because these are my keys. Let's go ahead and close this. Close that. Close this and this. And basically that's how you uh, pull the keys out of your computer for your Windows and also for any programs that are on your computer. Please check out the, uh, the videos above and please like, subscribe, and comment and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.